Hello everyone. Welcome to Tuesday. This is gonna be a fun video. I'm excited to do this one. Yes, welcome to, to a really fun fall video for Tuesday. And this one is very fun for us and it should be very fun for you because it's kind of a game and it's a game that we have in a way done played before. before. This is just the fall channel. edition. Mm -hmm. And I think some of you last time played along with us and you don't have to play along with us live. You can like pick a posh friend and like zoom and play oh, this. Oh yeah. Or you could, oh, that would be so yeah. fun. Or you if could you even, do screenshot it and yeah. send us a picture. Or even do it with like It'd a family fun. member who doesn't posh <gasps> and they can look for your correct answers and tell you if you're right or wrong. Oh, that would be funny. Oh, this is kind of funny because so one of the categories is oldest, just, you know, fall item. And some of these old pictures, that I had to sift through oh, are wow. terrible. They're and awful. you're gonna see all of the ans like all of our answers from our own closets right here. Yes. In screenshot form. <laughs> Please don't get mad at me for my ugly old pictures. Some of them are rough. Also, we Bad. do have a point system for this to mm -hmm. see who actually like wins, and we'll tell you that as we go. But before we jump into the game, I of course want to re-let you all know, in case you haven't seen some of the recent videos, that this next Saturday, or two videos from now, we are not doing a What's Sold Saturday. We are having something super, super awesome and fun coming out. Spooky, spooky, cool. On Thursday, I- it's Halloween. On Thursday, I may give you a little mm -hmm. hint, but for now, I'm just gonna let you know that it's super, super awesome, super, super fun. I'm so excited. It's coming together exactly as I hope. I think the hint it's, on Thursday? You'll kind of get it, yeah. Well, Put some pieces but in just place. continue to look forward to that it's gonna be fun and it's gonna be a decently like longer video than usual so like... you can spend halloween if you don't have much to do because of jenny 19 you can have this to do and you can watch this have a cocktail and you can sit have back some and fun. watch our fun little video yes make a hull make a spooky drink yeah yes It'll so again stay tuned for that get excited and again let us know what you want to see on thursday for our final fall focused video because we, would love we only have that one left we have one and thursday. so if there's anything you really want to see let us know yeah okay and then we're so, never making a fall video ever again <laughs> no <laughs> so next year jumping in to the game this is called How Well Do You Know Your Poshmark Closet? We did a version of this before, and it involves questions about your Poshmark closet, mm -hmm. and we ask each other and try to guess the answer of like oldest blank, like oldest like shoe. So since like, this is fall categories, it's like oldest sweater, yeah, newest sweater. Most expensive this. Most or like in the older. other one, we mm -hmm. did like what brands do you have in your Meet the Posher and stuff. Oh, if you yeah. want to go back and watch that one too, after this or before this, I will link it below. That was That's really uh, fun also. That was like a come to Jesus moment. That was hard for me. That was, <laughs> I don't remember a lot of it's that. It's funny, this is like a lot harder than like you think. You think you really think. like know your stuff? You don't. No. You really don't. So, we're gonna dive into these. Like I said, you can comment below and like play along with us and mm -hmm. leave it in, your, in the comments. Or you can play it separately. If you make a video of it, please send it to me because I'd love to see that. That would be so funny. Please do. So, I'm gonna start by asking the question. Ryan's gonna give his guess. I'm gonna give him his correct answer. And then I will give my guess and he'll give me the answer. First category is what is your most expensive sold coat or jacket? We also, for the most expensive ones, are gonna guess the price because that's a bonus point. You get one point if you get the item right and one point if you get the price right. Okay, so I'm changing my answer from what I have written down. Yeah, we do have I our guesses written remember. down because this would take way too long. We'd be sitting here going like, um. <laughs> I wouldn't know what the heck I'm talking about. Um, I think that it is a new Tag Rebecca Minkoff tweed black jacket. I sold it for $150. So, incorrect Rebecca, Rebecca Taylor. Oh! But you had the right answer. No, I wrote Rebecca. Oh, I wrote Rebecca Minkoff. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm still going to give you that, obviously. <laughs> Rebecca, but it's Taylor. Rebecca Taylor. It was a, you can yeah, see it here. I got that one right. It was a tweed, embellished, and you do get the bonus point. It was sold for $150. That's the one thing I know is prices. I don't know I anything about anybody else. Well. But the tricky thing with this that I thought of when I was like thinking of my guesses is there stuff that may have sold in bundles, so it says it sold for maybe more than you actually got for it, but we still have to get that right somehow. So that yeah. adds a whole layer of, kind of okay. like trickiness. So my most expensive sold coat is a really obvious answer and I hope I got the price right. It was a Montclair puffer down coat and it, I believe, sold for $590. Two points. Yes. 
sold for 190 or er, <laughs> 190 sold for 590 and it was Montclair yes that is I look back at that with very fond memory that <laughs> with is fond like memories. my favorite sale ever it actually sold really fast for being so expensive mm -hmm. I think I had it priced like 780 but I mean that's you don't, got a you, good deal though you don't skip a 590 for dollar offer Okay, so question number two. What is your most expensive active coat or jacket? Um, is it the floral Rebecca Taylor blazer? Price? Two fifty. Both are correct. Yes! I knew it. Okay, good. Okay, so my guess, I'm like quite certain on this one. I have a wool Burberry like long coat with a belt. It's like a trench style, but it's like wool, kind of like the stuff that's on trend right now. And I believe it's priced at like $678. Um, <clears throat> incorrect. It is your oh. Valentino blazer that is $3,400. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even think like blazers. Ah. I blazers have like multiple coats. more expensive ones. You then. really do. I have a va I have two Valentino blazers. You have the um, and then I have the, the unravel project. The un it's a coat and it's like fifteen hundred bucks. Oh my gosh! As I literally was like, I'm so like, certain I'm about this do one. Great. <laughs> great. Okay. Well, I'm this losing. This is fun. I'm winning. Next category, number three, most expensive sold pair of boots. Um, my Christian Louboutin. Black something something boot. They sold for about four hundred dollars, if I'm not mistaken. Your Louboutin Bell heel boots sold for four hundred dollars. So that's a double points. Damn right. I'm good at this. I, I remember this being a lot harder. I say that, and I'm not going to get anything for any of these <laughs> other ones. Okay, so my most expensive sold pair of boots. I'm not going to say if I'm certain or anything. These ones sold pretty recently, and it was a really good sale. And it was a pair of rag and bone silver velvet ankle boots, and they sold for two hundred dollars. Um, no. According to Poshmark, your most expensive sold boot is a pair of Donald Pliner snakeskin western boots. Those were like mules. It said boots, <laughs> and they sold for two hundred dollars. Did you happen to see what the second one was? Um, you don't have to check. Just I think it was a hundred and eighty dollar pair of. Then it had to be the Snow White's men's. Of Rag and Bone boots. The Rag and Bone. Okay. okay, so in other words, it, because of my miscategorization, I was wrong. But I believe that that would be correct if I had labeled everything right. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to give myself points because apparently mules are boots now. <laughs> Anyways, number four, most expensive active pair of boots. Uh, okay, so I have down my pair of Jeffrey Campbell tan booties that were sold Anthropology. They have a pearl detail on them. I believe I have them for 125 if I'm not mistaken, but I could very easily be wrong. So what I found was your pair of United Nude Color Block oh, boots. Oh, yeah, those. And they're those. priced at 112 mm -hmm. Those are really pretty. So <laughs> my Tell guess... My guess for mine is I have a pair of silver Saint Laurent boots and the heels are like pink glitter. They're gorgeous. And I believe I have them priced at $450. They're $400. Oh. But they are I the pink YSL. Drop, but I get one point for that one. They are the YSL boots. Okay. You're not going to get this one. <laughs> I just know it. Number five is most expensive sold sweater. I believe, I don't remember the name of the Free People sweater, but it was a Free People sweater, it used to be mine, and I sold it for $90. You're gonna be, you're gonna kick yourself. Lingua Franca. Oh, sold damn, for I just sold that at $40. <laughs> it just sold like last week. I just got the left off for that last night. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, that's a good one. I'll take that. Mine, I thought of, for some reason, this was like the hardest hardest question for me i don't know i why. can see why you were like obsessed with your second sold your second highest sold that's probably what i wrote down then so what i have as a guess is my anthropology moth multicolor yep. like rare blogger favorite sweater and it sold for 148 dollars but that wasn't a bundle it actually like i got less for it but i tried to 148 um so this one sold for the same price but it was the club monaco Wool cardigan. Remember, it was tan and had a belt, but I really think you just sold that one straight out for $148. I did. So technically that is my highest sold because I like actually got the money for that. You got $148 minus 20%. Mm -hmm. That, I mean, you can see it. That was such, that was I would an, like that was a while never, ago. ever, ever <clears throat> pick up Club Monaco. That was my first time grabbing it. And so then when I sold it, I was like, wow, Club Monaco does awesome. 
it does not, horrible. it does so bad. But it's like, so that was such a night. I think I found that back when, who's the princess that wears Club Monaco? Oh, when Kate the, Middleton. Yeah. She was like she big into it for Monaco. 10 seconds. And that's when I found <laughs> she that. She said, bye. Or else, yeah, don't pick up Club Monaco. Maybe if you find that thing again. Well, some of the newer pieces, I'll say. If it's super nice, but. Yeah, or like a silk. I had like a, a blazer material. with like lamb leather trim. I can't move and it's down to like $30. Okay, so number, what are we on, like six? Number six, six. most expensive active sweater. Most expensive active sweater. Uh, I wanna say it's a torn Ronnie Kobo white sweater and I have a price at I think $100. So you're correct. It's a torn by Ronnie Kobo mm -hmm. white. White like V-neck like lacy sweater. Lace or is it, sweater. No. Uh, uh, is it 125? No. And it's $150. Oh. <laughs> I have to right throughout that. <laughs> So mine, I don't know what it is about the sweaters. I feel like it's just because I like go through so many. I can never like get these ones. You're probably not gonna get My through. guess is I have a The Couples gray sweater. It has like weird big buttons on it and it's priced at like 218 randomly. Um, no, your most expensive listed sweater is a Beaumont floral sweater that you have for 250. Oh. The white one with the little floral. My only Beaumont <laughs> that I've ever found. The little found. floral embellishments on it. Okay, that makes sense pretty close. I must have been like mm -hmm. number two or number three. That sweater was number four. Oh, well, fine. <laughs> Just, if you're asking. Number seven, most expensive pair of jeans sold. I want to say it's a pair of Legant's jeans and they sold for $125. That was your second. Damn, what this the first? Is, I have a, I don't know. I have a feeling this is a bundle sale because it's a really weird price. A pair of Anthropology Mother White Act Natural jeans. They sold for $128. They sold for $128. Yep. They sold for $128. Yeah. She said, thank you. I've been looking for these. Wow. Oh, well, you got that wrong. <laughs> um, <Okay>. My <laughs> guess, <laughs> this was another like hard one for me. Because again, I feel like I go through so many jeans. And like I do price them all pretty similar. Mm -hmm. So my guess is I had a pair of Free People like flared bell bottom almost like raw hem jeans really cute and i believe they did sell for at least 100 i wrote down 100. uh and both of them it was a pair of anthro pilcro patchwork jeans mm. they were a plus and you sold them i think in a bundle for 120 dollars oh that was a bundle remember yeah. with the cute like quilted yep. little like, yeah knee patches? they probably ended up selling for half off but yeah mm. that is Correct. Okay, well, I was wrong. So next number we nine. have, I'm sure you can never guess the category. Number eight. Most expensive pair of jeans active. Um, I think it's a pair of girlfriend white jeans. I don't know the price. I don't know what I priced them at. Let's take a shot in the dark. 135, maybe? Your most expensive active pair of jeans is Levi's Western Fringe. Oh, it's those fringe. And they're priced yeah. at $98. Those are super cute. I would honestly so probably have <laughs> them okay, higher. I'll take that one. I'll take the L on that one. I don't think I have too many expensive active pair of jeans right now. So I wrote down free people, show me your stripes, wide leg pair of jeans, and they are 115. Nope. Your most if you're expensive... gonna tell me that it's that helmet laying pair of black pants. No, it's not that okay. pair of helmet laying pants. I was like, if I mark those as jeans, I'm gonna be so angry. The most expensive pair of jeans, according to Poshmark, you have is a pair of red Valentino floral culottes. <gasps> and they're $145. That's right. I've had those for a little bit. Yeah, I'm doing horrible. I'm just looking at the highlighted score and I'm like, wow, I'm doing awful. <laughs> okay, so that is it for the most expensive blank. Mm -hmm. So on to the like second half of the game. We're going oldest and newest listings. And so obviously there's no bonus point for this because you can't, we didn't want to guess a price. <laughs> if we get the oldest listing correct, we get two points because that is difficult. I guarantee it's going to be hard for you. And if we... I think it's right. going to be just as hard for me too. And if we get the newest listing correct, which should be super easy, we only get half a point because like, shouldn't we know... Like what we just listed. What we just listed. Yeah. Even though the hard part is, obviously we take pictures of stuff and we have them sitting on our I phone. I live on my computer. Okay, so oldest boot listing. I think it's a pair of um, like Lucky Brand, like blue booties that I sold like... I remember I was at my parents' house. <laughs> when I sold those. So your oldest pair of boots, they are sold, mm -hmm. which hopefully all of our oldest ones are sold. Yeah. It was a pair of, as you titled it, Steve Madden cowboy boots. 
That's ah. all of his title. The picture Ew. wasn't that bad, but like... Are they really ugly? Okay, wait, hold no, on. Now I have to see I wouldn't get them. I'll show you the pictures like. after. Okay, I have them screenshotted. Everyone oh, else can see them no, now. No, are they... Please forgive me. <laughs> Father, the forgive picture, me. Like I said, the picture, like I said, the picture... really the ugly. The picture wasn't that bad. It's just like the title, Sweet I was I'm like... Boo. What did I sell them for? Thirty-four dollars. Thirty, I think. I told you prices, numbers don't lie. So my guess for mine, I think these were boots. I had a pair. I found them in like the bins in Iowa the first time I went. It was a pair of like gray Tom's lace boots. How did you know that? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, wait, hold on. I explained. And they had a ton of likes. I yeah, no, that. they still have like fifty likes. They sold for like twenty-three. Oh, they sold for thirty-four. Oh, see, because I had them and they had so many mm -hmm. likes, and then all of a sudden it was like. They still weren't like selling, and I almost swore that I got. Wow! Get two points. Wow. Newest. <laughs> anyway, newest boot listing. Newest boot listing. Oh, I have um. Uh, oh, I'm gonna second guess myself. Darn it! I think that it is a pair of Tommy Hilfiger vintage black, kind of like ankle high. Ding, 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 ding. Yes. Correct. So I, I have them listed for sixty-eight dollars. <laughs> I was out. I think there were sixty. Oh, are they? I was okay. out thrifting here alone because he was like in class, I and I was like out. sending him live pictures of like. Look what I found. Air Force that I got. Because I was actually finding pretty good stuff for Iowa, for and I was Waterloo. like, "Look at this! Look at this!" And I found those right when I was like getting in line. And I thought they were really cool, and I was like, "Look!" And I knew that he sometimes likes vintage Tommy, but I also oh, didn't want to buy them because they were like ten bucks. They were eight dollars. Didn't want to add that to my total. And then I was like in line, finally it was my turn like, to be rung up and he's like, go get them. And I was like, if you get the boots, you can come back to the house. And I said, no, I don't want to get him. And then he like Venmoed me before I could even say no. And I was like, don't give him a way out. That's what I always say, you know? So yeah, I bought those and he's Yay. selling them. Okay. My guess is my pair of Dolce Vita patent boots. Yes. Okay. Correct. Half a point. <laughs> Next, oldest coat listing. This was another very tricky one. Mm. This one I don't think I'm right on. Oldest coat listing. And just so you guys know, this counts for like sold and active. Uh, Hopefully, like I said, they're all sold. Yeah, so <laughs> I completely got this one wrong. This is a weird, I, I didn't even know, I don't even remember you having this. Oldest so. coat listing. Oh my God, was it that Bowden, like knee length red and white floral, like trench coat looking thing? Old in that. It was a, Desigual or Desigual? A Desigual. Embellished, like, blazer. Oh, it was new tags that I found in the bins. I sold for $40. That's I know exactly annoying. what you're talking about. I remember I was in the Des Moines bins, and it was, like, the only day we ever found anything good in the Des Moines bins. Because you hit that really good bit of Lulu, and I found that really good bit of Anthropology. And this, and I found a pair of, my first pair of olive leggings in that same <laughs> bin. And it was, like, this new tag, white, like, tweed-looking mm -hmm. blazer. And I took it home, and Janet looked at it and was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Verbatim. And I was like, this is money, Janet. You don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot. So mine, oh, wow. <laughs> mine, I'm, like, pretty sure I'm wrong, but I know this is, like, a really old one. It has a funny story behind it, actually. But it's a Fila Windbreaker. I know I'm not right. That's not it. But I do want to say the funny story about this. Oh, yeah. So I, Brian and I had met and we'd went like to Minnesota for like one of the first two couple times, right? Yeah, when I met your and parents. And mm -hmm. Ryan bought this like Fila windbreaker up there. It was like a vintage like black and yellow. Yeah, I'll like, have a picture zip. here. And he bought it for himself. I think he maybe like wore it once or twice. So <laughs> Sounds like something I would do. <laughs> when we came back down, he was still living with his parents. He went back to his like mom's house, whatever. Going through his closet, he donates it. Mm -hmm. I, on my like third or fourth time ever going to the bins down here, go to the bins. I find a Fila windbreaker in the bins that I'll let you know is like 15 minutes from his house. I find a Fila windbreaker. I buy it. I list it. I sell it. Sell it like a day. I had and it, it in the What's Old Saturday. It was like the second one we'd filmed was together, like, and he was like, "I was like, you're kidding." We had to like this. cut the video. He's like, "Wait, I was like, Wait, how'd you get that?" He was like, "Where did you find that?" And I was like, "And I, it had like a spot on the back and like a broken zipper, yeah, like, in the like, exact same had spot. A broken zipper and like a thing on the back. So literally, that thing had like." Moved states. She's at full circle. And moved ownership <laughs> between the two of us She's separately. Like four people. It was so funny. That was weird. Okay. Okay. What was mine? Um, it was as you said, cabby red tweed jacket final cut with the like pit emojis. Because you clearance. Oh, out. that was back when I used to like mm. mark prices down and do like clearances in my closet. Um, Funny it's only for eleven dollars. <laughs> Made a whole nine oh five. Woo! Okay, <laughs> great. So that was a fun one. What okay. a bad time for everybody. Newest coat listing. Newest coat listing. Does this count solds? 
Yeah. Okay, it's not sold. <laughs> I think it's a... I don't even, I don't remember you getting this. And it's your newest coat listing. Probably that orange, like, cropped Urban Outfitters jacket. It's a Uniqlo blue puffer jacket. Oh, yeah, I found it in the bins. The, like, the ultra down ones that you can, like, stuff in a bag. I've never seen that. It's sitting right over there. I can so, see it. It's still in a bag. <laughs> mine I'm pretty confident in. Lane Bryant tunic length coat. Oh, no. It's no. your Veronica Beard white scuba blazer. Oh, I Because remember, list, coats is blazers I, too. I listed those two like right after the mm -hmm. late right? Oldest sweater listing. Uh, it's probably, oh, oldest sweater listing. This, again, this is like the second hardest question. I don't honestly have a good answer for mine. I'm just like. This is like as far back as my memory recalls, but let's, let's do a little bit of digging. Probably something that I got it at a Plato's Closet, like, dollar sale. I could see... I could see it being from Plato's Closet. The picture wasn't bad of this, either. It was, like, okay. Some kind of, like, torrid or free people cardigan. It was a Wild Fox Sorry I Can't Sports sweater. <gasps> I found that at the South Asian Army in Des Moines. Wow. I remember. I was with my best friend, Lauren, and I found a Rails, a Wild Fox, and a Vince, like, boom, boom, boom. Good for Like, back to back. And then she found <clears throat> uh, a Gucci purse. <laughs> And a little Oh, I remember that. That was a while. No, never mind. Her mom found the purse. That was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. My sports. oldest mm -hmm. sweater. This is a shot in the dark. I'm sure. I'm sure it's some it's ugly so... anthropology. <laughs> it is ugly, but it's not anthropology. <laughs> My guess was like an old anthropology angel of the north. Probably like cream open knit. That's a good guess. The... But no, it was um, an Ivanka Trump pink sweater, and it was one of those like really ugly like. I think I remember the one. Like arm, like elbow length, like fitted <laughs> pink sweaters with the like thing in the back. I that it was, was like big that, like gold that bars. Had to have been like a Ben's find. It was like a. It was like a. And I probably thought like, to myself like, find. I've seen this at TJ Maxx. I should. Like I see this at Macy's. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Was Never bad. again. So for Twenty three dollars. We're in some rough territory. Okay. <laughs> Newest sweater listing. Oh. <gasps> the ELK rainbow v-neck sweater that i sold to uh yes. Really Boo. yes ryan's newest sweater listing is sold and it's the elk striped crayola looking sweater thanks yvonne she saw it on youtube hall and said will you list that so i can buy it and i said yes ma'am it's cute it was really cute it was really um soft. so mine i'm assuming this is the latest one if not it's like one of the three latest soft surroundings rose print duster cardigan i have no idea oh yes it was it was your second your newest um, is a torrid um, draped chevron cardigan. Oh, that I can't find the model picture for. You have listed for forty dollars. <laughs> All this pair of jeans listed. All this pair of jeans. Oh, it's a pair of Miss Me's. This is this is again again like rough territory. It's a pair of Miss so, Me's, isn't it? It's a pair it's of a nasty pair of Miss True Me's. Religion straight leg dark wash mid rise. <laughs> Ew. And it's literally like your picture is like you took it in like a dark room, <laughs> and it's like on the floor. Is it? I remember when I first started, I used to take my pictures of my parents' hardwood floor at like midnight. <laughs> That's when probably I get home where this And then I caught on to the trend of like, oh, white faux sheepskin rug. Mm -hmm. It was ugly. It was just, yeah. Those were some dark times. <laughs> so this is a really old jeans listing of mine. I don't know if it's the oldest. I sold a three pack of seven for all mankind three dojo pack. jeans. Um, I had found them in the bins. They were all, um, they were all the dojo. The dojo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They were all the dojo. I didn't know that that was the expensive one. So I listed three together for like a hundred bucks. When literally back then, I probably could have got like three hundred. You could have gotten a hundred dollars each of them. Yeah. Um. No, but that was she was down there. Mm -hmm. She was That's on that on that god awful apartment like, like carpet rug. <laughs> Woof. Ugh. Um. It was a pair of Miss Me size thirty skinny jeans. No, you sold for thirty dollars. I used to actually sell, and I know that you listed those on Debbie's kitchen floor. <laughs> <laughs> I used to actually sell a decent amount of Miss Me's because those things were plentiful. Where oh, I, where here I went to college and in, yeah, and where I worked. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, yeah. And you could get them for cheap. They were, and that's back when they were, were kind of popular. So that was nice. Yeah, you could of. still get thirty, forty bucks for them. Yeah. Last one, newest pair of jeans. I think that it is a pair of vintage Levi's orange tab 550s. It is a pair of John Galt. Oh, some Brandy Melville jeans. Mm -hmm. Darn it. And mine, I think, this is a shot in the dark too because I get so many jeans. Like I said, we have, I especially have, this time of year. I have so many better. in my photos right now. I don't know which one I listed last. I think it's my Levi's Free People Mile High like classic wash. No. 
Oh. <laughs> it's a pair of American Eagle Distressed Skinny Jeans. Oh! Size six. Those are really cute. They are really cute. It looks like you won, but let's do some math. Two, oh, four, so six. I never win anything. <laughs> two, four, six, seven, eight. You got eight. I got two, three, five and a half. So By you a won. landslide. You uh. won. I'm kind of just a... If I would have got those uh. rag and bone velvet boots that technically were my highest boot sale. That pisses me off that I would mark those as mules and not as mules. I looked at them and I was like, oh, boots? I was like, that's not a boot, but sure. I mean, they sold, so I guess I'm yeah, not actually say, mad, but for this game. 200 bucks is 200 bucks. Like, that's what I'm saying is to get. So please, I hope if you played along, you left it in the comments or you can go make your own video of playing this with somebody. That'd be really fun to watch. That was really you fun. You could even yeah. record like a Zoom call, like I said, with one of your favorite PFFs and see who knows more about their closet. This, like I said, is a lot harder than it seems. It's really difficult because you get into some of those older solds and the it's The old like, solds are like impossible. But like, down, like the painful part the of the most <laughs> expensive ones, I thought I was going to do a lot better than I did. So like, I never saw anything expensive. So it's very easy for me because sure. those things are like, yeah, we were considering doing <clears throat> like lowest sold too, but I don't know. We thought that oh, would be, be as exciting. Rough. Yeah. That'd be bad. So I hope that you play along. And again, if you want to watch the old version of this, which might be even more fun because it encompasses like the whole closet and like a lot of different aspects, not just like expensive listings. Like I said, it covers yeah. like the meet the posher and it covers, I don't even remember what we asked, but it was a lot more like it's, kind of fun, interesting yeah, questions. Yeah, it's more like just closet in general versus yeah. like item specific. Yeah, mm -hmm. some things that'll like surprise you, like the listings, the brands you pick when you sign up for Posh as your favorite listings, you may not remember those, but <laughs> mine were like, what? Mine were yeah, like, I think mine were like weird. Zara. Mine were like, yeah, mine was like Zara, American Eagle. Yeah. I was like, I have never owned anything American Eagle except socks. <laughs> and I bet money that I still haven't changed that. Let's find <laughs> out, actually. Let's check mine. So please go check out that one if you're interested. And please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Oh, <laughs> subscribe and turn on notifications so yes. that you don't miss out on the Halloween video. And like I said in the beginning, definitely let us know what you want for the final fall video. We'd love for the final one to be one that you guys are really hoping for or yeah. wanting to see. So let us know and we will see you on Thursday. Bye. Bye. Bye.